you almost done did there? You almost made Antonio spill Uncle Ragu's famous pasta for Julie all down his shirt front. And that's not cool. Well, um, um... Yeah! And what's your problem, man? That happened to be a particularly savory batch of Uncle Ragu's world-famous pasta for Julie. And this is a particularly fine shred full of haberdashery that I am dining today. And I do not want Uncle Ragu's Ultra Supreme Pasta for Julie mixing with my fine tech run ensemble. This, in my opinion, would clash. Sorry, I, I didn't mean to. I mean, I. Sorry! Sorry! Sorry nothing, Bob! You're the one who's gonna be sorry! I didn't mean to! I didn't mean to! I didn't mean to my ass! Where the fuck did you get your driver's license? A gumball machine! <laughs> ah, did you hear that, Antonio? A gumball machine! Ah. <laughs> I just bust myself up sometimes. I wish this light would change already. Dominic! That was fucking excellent! A gumball machine. <laughs> I never would have thought of that. Where do you come up with those? What a bunch of half with numbskulls, cod heads, chowder heads, dude, you and Ryan Walsh, cod heads, and stupid. Ryan Walsh. <laughs> gumball machine? That's out of this world. Now, uh, me personally, I would have said, uh, crackjack. <laughs> But gumballs, that's fucking brilliant. Now listen here, yous. Now that we firmly establish that you drive like a... You're gonna have to answer some questions here. Namely, what the fuck do you think would have happened to you had you hit our car? Well, we should all be thankful that we didn't get an accident and that... We should all be thankful that I don't stuff your head in that ashtray right now! I wish this light would change already. Now look here, Mr. Weisenheimer, I don't think you ever answered me. Do I have to ask you this again? Do I have to ask you again, what you think would have happened if you had hit our car? Do I have to ask you this? Um, well... Jesus, Mary, and Joseph, what a fucking retard! Antonio, do I have to ask him of this again? I think you may have to ask him of this again, Dominic. He's slower than us, after all. Okay. What do you think would happen if you hit our car? What do you think would happen if you would hit our car? What do you think would happen if you would hit our car? What do you think would happen if you would hit our car? What do you think would happen if you would hit our car? What do you think would happen if you would hit our car? Yeah. 
Why do you think? Tommy, what's going on up there? What's going on up here? What's going on back there? What, you stupid or something? That stupid son of a bitch almost ran into my car, and I may yet have to run my fist down his throat for this. And you don't know this. You don't know what's going on up here. I want to know what's going on back there. In your brain! That's what I want to know. Oh, because I was hungry. I thought maybe we could go to NW for some charboils or something. But if this is more important... More important! <laughs> more important! <laughs> this is my car! And you should have done that at Uncle Ragu's when I told you to. But I was sick of Uncle Ragu's. Shut up, you! Look at what you've done to my friends here. This is, uh, marital strife or something. Mother of Mary, I ought to kill you now. What do you think of that there, you motherfucker? I think you're the stupidest lopet I've ever met in my entire life. And your buddy Antonio, Yo, 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 has got some lunch bucket lamb chops on the side of his face and pasta for Julie for brains. What did you say? Uh, nothing. I think. Oh, because for a second there, I thought you said something kind of smart-like. And if there's one thing I cannot stand, it's a smart ass. And if you're being a smart guy, just for one second, just for one milli part of a dull deck of center second, I would have maybe had to stick my fingers into your face holes and pull your eyeballs out through their sockets. Or maybe you'd have to ram. Bolt your hands down his throat and rip his lungs out through his esophagus. And that's a pretty large nose you have there, my friend. Maybe we can do something with it. Like bust it. Yeah. Bust that nice airplane hanger of a nose flute wide open with my mooly be good stick. What are you, two boy or something? Doesn't this bike like change? Where's your trail, Jew boy? Thanks a lot for coming. <laughs>